So congratulations on uh, the publication of your results and your presentation at the Hot Topic session. Uh, what were the findings of art? Surprising? Yes, they were. Uh, main finding is that uh, uh, 28 day mortality was higher in the group uh, submitted to the language group to maneuver compared to the low PIP group. Uh, the hazard ratio for 28 day mortality was 1.20 uh, and it was significant. Uh, when we look at it at the secondary outcomes, uh, this, uh, the pattern was very consistent with uh, increased six months mortality uh, by about the same amount and also uh, it, it, um, we found that uh, uh, effects on, on adverse events, for example, barotrauma or pneumothorax needing drainage uh, within seven days and also the need to start or increase vasopressors within one hour after randomization, all those things were more frequent in the experimental group uh, with language recruitment maneuver than the control group. So uh, we really found that, that uh, uh, the, the use of the language recruitment and titrated PIP increase uh, adverse events and, and in the end uh, increased uh, mortality. So what kind of impact do you think this might have for clinicians who are using these sort of maneuvers uh, in their ICU? I understand that um, for, for the general patient with uh, moderate to severe ARDS, uh, uh, the, the use of uh, lung recruitment, aggressive lung recruitment maneuvers and uh, uh, high PIP levels uh, as, as, a, as a package uh, may in fact increase uh, uh, mortality. And, and, I, I, and, and based on the results of ART, I think uh, this should not be, be used. We should refrain from do, doing those, this strategy for those patients. And a, as this is a, a, a strategy that is commonly adopted in many places, many ICUs, and also has been suggested in guidelines, recent guidelines, for example, uh, I think the, the impact may be uh, profound. So where do we go from here? What questions do we need answers? Uh, where are you going to study next? Uh, one thing that we, we've, we found in the, in the trial is that uh, uh, improving lung, uh, lung compliance and therefore reducing driving pressure would be po possible mediators of the uh, event or any benefit that uh, we were trying to, to observe, but in fact, uh, the average improvement in compliance was small. And uh, but on for the average pa patient, there is not a lot of lung recruitment in the end. But the variability is huge, so there may be some patients, some subset of patients who did respond to the uh, lung recruitment with, in fact, recruiting lungs, and. Perhaps in those subsets, there is still maybe opportunity for, for trying strategies of uh, open lung approach. But again, this is something to, to be investigated in future trials. I think for the, for the time now, we have, the information we have is for the average patient, we should not uh, use the, the strategy in the routine practice.